Hey everybody, what's up? It's Mike here, Mike Twitter page. It's Tuesday, 5 o'clock somewhere. We're up here in Panama City Beach for the Gulf Coast Jam. But the tropics don't care. We're going to talk about something brewing out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Here's the latest. We got a little circle. Uh, NHC is marking our spot. Uh, I've been talking a little bit about this now the last couple days. Um, could be interesting. Nothing, nothing uh, showing up too strong. I'm going to show you the latest trends here, but we do have a little spot. Here's the late, uh, latest satellite. Uh, that This is a, a vis visible satellite with lightning, and uh, you can see uh, pretty pretty heavy throughout the day today. Uh, I call these things blobs. It's, it's uh, uh, connected to an old front. Basically, that whole frontal line from last week is just lingering down there through Florida, and uh, there you go. It's just a blob of convection right now. There it is. Uh, it's supposed to linger in the Gulf now for a few days. That's kind of what the models have been showing. Eventually, it's supposed to pivot itself down through Florida and sit off the East Coast. So let me show you the latest, some of the latest models here in a second. Um, Bay News 9 here, my local uh, channel, they have a great water map, a uh, water temperature map. You can see here, um, you know, temperatures are in the 80s. This blob of convection is sitting right on top of that Gulf Stream. Uh, loop currents, we talk about these a lot. So it's got a lot of fuel out there in the Gulf right now. Um, and, and here's here's a ra uh, rain map pretty much t uh, tells you what's cooking through the early part of next week. Uh, you can see the, the, the brighter colors, the reds, pretty much focused on the peninsula. This, this has been a trend of this low pressure dipping through the state of Florida, sitting off the coast, and then maybe pretty much escaping, uh, not messing with anybody on the East Coast. We're going to get winds again. I'm going to bring this up here in a second. It's almost a repeat pattern, low pressure uh, end of the weekend, uh, early part of next week. We're going to see strong winds again off that east coast, uh, eastern seaboard to watch. Um, but for now, it seems to be more of a Florida Peninsula thing, if they're officially going to call it a thing right now, uh, rain and wind and storms. Uh, let's look at the latest Euro. The latest Euro just came out. This is the uh, tropicaltidbits.com, the EC Fast. Um, the full run will be running here in a second. I wanted to make sure to do this video right after this uh, latest 12Z. This is setting up pretty much what we're talking about. Uh, low pressure here throughout throughout the week here. Um, just kind of hanging out. You'll start to see it tightening up here. This is what we're looking for. This is the middle part of the Gulf. You'll start to see rotation, 1,006 millibars. This is on Friday morning. And you can see it pivot itself down through uh, Florida and get down to like 999 millibar and then, you know, 994. So, you know, it looks broad, almost subtropical, wider system. Um, but we're seeing this thing down there through the south and deepening low pressure. Uh, some of the other trends that we've seen here, let me show you um, one more model, then we'll get into the trends. This is the UK. Uh, this one is on a, on a paid site. The uh, UK has been doing pretty good this year, so I kind of wanted to bring it up. It's shown in deepening low pressure um, Thursday, Friday, sitting here in the middle Gulf, and it does that little pivot down through the state, 1,000 millibar. Um, so that, that consistency is really strong. The the one thing that we did see frequently on the GFS, I think it was last night's 00Z run, um, you'll see how it kind of pivot pivots this low pressure Um Maybe it's yesterday's 12Z run. The, the, the Euro has not, or the GFS has not been very consistent with this system, as expected, because the GFS is, uh, <laughs> it's not the go-to model like uh, the others. And uh, I can't even find the run. But let me show you the others. <laughs> Canadian model has been doing this icon. Let me show you the icon. Latest icon just came out. This is kind of showing the same thing. Uh, this is Thursday, big old low pressure in the Gulf. You know, we can start to see some squall lines entering the Florida Peninsula. Uh, Thursday for the upper Gulf, I know I'm up here in the Gulf Jam. It looks like Thursday is still going to be the wettest chances Thursday for the upper Gulf as this low starts to go down. Remember now, when this low goes south through the state here, it's going to start uh, spinning in some drier, uh, almost cooler air again, just like we just saw. So the moisture field will stay pr primarily to the peninsula side. Hopefully where I'm at, uh, at least Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it'll rotate in some drier air on, on the on the behind side. Uh, but, the, you know, here's your here's your icon showing that common theme here, um, developing a little bit through the uh, getting into the weekend. There's a, a core of the system. This is uh, Saturday and Sunday. 
sitting off that golf stream, kind of hanging out. See how this does this little hangout maneuver. So here's Sunday morning. Uh, we can see some southeast storms Sunday morning, depending on where those lows sets up. Almost the same as what we talked about in the video from two days ago. This thing plops on the southeast coast. It's going to hang around a little bit in the first part of next week uh, before it finally kind of gets on out of here, um, just like that. So that this, this model right here is pretty much what all of them have been doing. Low pressure through the state, slowing down a little bit in the southeast, and then racing off kind of the northeast. Um, so, again, we talked about the winds. Um, there is a chance here that we're going to have to watch the winds a little bit. Let's go back to the icon here and just kind of show you what we're talking about. That same scenario that we had over the uh, last week, you'll, you'll see as this thing tightens up, we'll have a high pressure to the north, the chances of some strong winds on that eastern seaboard blowing in from the, um, the northeast down towards the southwest. But yeah, the Icon 999, you know, hanging out, letting it go. So that's kind of what the trend's been. The Canadian model, I believe, kind of showed that a little bit. Um, not, as, not as strong on the latest run. Maybe yesterday's run it did. We don't use the Canadian model awfully too much, but it it was just showing that low pressure, you know, lingering off the coast there. So we're kind of sticking with the icon and the euro right now, and the NHC is at 20% right now. So we do have that circle, um, which is uh, right there. So they're watching it. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, what the windy map kind of shows you, uh, where the storms can start to develop here. Let's look at Friday morning. You can start to see the low pressure area. Um, work its way through South Florida. So the question mark is going to be the South Florida Peninsula. This is Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday morning. We can see this, you know, anytime you get low pressure, you get increased storms and rain. Low pressures, storms, and rain. We're going to have hot Gulf Stream on both sides of the peninsula here. So the storm potential, I think, is going to be the storyline with this little guy as it tightens up. Uh, this is over the weekend. And, and then as we're discussing, it slows down Sunday right off the southeast coast. Depending on where this core of this thing sets up, these storms could definitely make their impacts across the southeast uh, into Monday. So that's kind of what they're watching. Um, you know, and it's happening live. So I put a, I, I did add a satellite here. That I call, called it the Gulf Blob, uh, right here in the middle part of the, of the Gulf of Mexico. That's what they're watching. So there you go. Keep an eye on it. Old fronts uh, usually spark uh, tropics early season. It is technically attached to an old front. We can look at the surface chart. Oh, let's just look at tomorrow's surface chart. You'll start to see there's the old frontal line. And these tails of fronts, you've heard me talk about it a lot. Tails of fronts uh, sometimes kickstart things and uh, get them going. So there we go. So bottom line, you know, upper golf's real questionable on what you're going to get out of this thing at this point. Uh, you might get some storms and rains possibly Thursday. The core is going to move south. And um, one last thing I'll look at here. Let's take a look at the uh, dry air map from the Euro. Just kind of see if we're going to have a chance for um, some cooler, drier air as this thing rotates off the southeast coast. Um, and we can just get a look here at the water vapor satellite. And let's get to Friday. Yeah, see, there you go. So this map right here, let me put it up into a new image, this little guy right here. This is Saturday, and there you go. There's our low, low southeast. This is uh, precipital water, basically water vapor. Uh, a lot of convection here along the southeast. But look at this dry air pumping down on the backside. And that's kind of what I've been telling the guys up here at the Gulf Coast Jam. Thursday rain, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to see some uh, drier air pumping in. So, you know, as far as development chances go, um, you know, this, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to watch because uh, this bubbling in the Gulf this morning – Kind of wasn't expected. That's why I made sure this morning we I put that graphic out there. Here's here's what the latest blend looks like from the uh, Euro. Actually, we can look at 6Z. This came out this morning. Let's take a look at the 6Z run. I don't think the 12Z Euro is out yet, but this this kind of gives you a sense um, some of the some of the thinking here. You know, going going through the uh, coast here, weak system off the west coast, and then it kind of strengthens a little bit as it comes through and then it kind of lingers around here a little bit you know we called the last week's low the gulf stream low because it hung out over these warm waters and that's kind of when things get tricky um so it's already got a little spinach then you know we gotta keep keep a watch on it over here and the only reason you'd want to keep a watch on here hey we got folks in the bahamas we got folks on the east coast but you know we got people in bermuda but this thing already has a little spinach 
on the um, exit, let's, we can see a good spinach map here. We go to tropical tidbits, the vorticity map here. We'll zoom in on um, the southeast and we'll look at some spinach, lower 850 vorticity. Here's what spinach would look like, uh, and it's just running now. So let's go to the 6Z. Um, and here's your spinach. Already showed up this morning in um, the 6Z run. But, there, you know, there you go. That's just a spin in the atmosphere. You can see how it lingers for the next couple days right there. And that's going to cross over and, you know, never know. Keep an eye on it. There you go. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it. Little quickies. Um, we're going to go party it up now in Panama City Beach. So as always, this is on YouTube. Like, share, comment, and uh, we're getting our numbers up. Appreciate that. And I will be live tomorrow at 919 Eastern, 819 Central. I'm not used to that yet. And then Thursday, I'm going to do a special live from the stage at the Gulf Coast Jam with the big stage behind me. I will be on the big stage. And that is the first day of official hurricane season. Um, so we'll see you then. All right. Have a great day.